Welcome back to Jeans vs Sugar or you come back again with another video and in today's video I am going to be telling you all the things I wish I knew before NYSE camp. Now before I get into this I would like to drop a little disclaimer because I was in the Lagos camp in Ipaja so I don't know if it will be the same or if it will apply for every camp but most of these are general to all camps but I would still say find out from people from your camp just to be on the safe side because it might be different. First things first go early for your registration trust me the early bread gets the warm this is literally what they were talking about they were talking about nyse camp when they wrote that quote because trust me you will get to pick the best bed you get to pick the bed under the fan or the bed where the light works or something you will just get to pick the best so go early secondly you do not need that many photocopies I don't know if you guys saw the list going around. I need five copies of this, five copies of, it, of your color letter, colored copies of this, um, black and white copies of this. You do not need any photocopy. Now, if you're applying for exact form, I feel like the process is different and you would need some photocopies, but I do not know the process as I did not apply for exact. So I'll just ask you to ask someone that did that so I wouldn't give out unreliable information. But for those planning to stay in camp, you would only need one photocopy. Every other thing, they will need to see the original. And once they see the original, they would give you back. Anything Speaking like on different copies, you do not need that many passports. In entirety, I used just five passports. And the last one was for my meal ticket, which was always with me. So I don't know why people were telling me to bring 16 passports. I paid extra money. I had five. I went and did 16 the day of the registration, thinking that I would need it. And then I just came back home with 11 passports. So you do not need that many passports. Like okay, I said, so another point I have is that before you go, go with like essential medication. Because the clinic is not exactly refurbished or stocked. So if you can get anti-malaria drugs, go with it. If you can get like cough syrup, catar drugs, maybe paracetamol, just painkillers, just go with as many essential to you drugs that you may need. Also, for my girls who are expecting to get their period during camp, it's a lot. I, I won't lie to you, it's a lot. First of all, the anxiety of getting stained or getting possibly stained, wearing white on white, is a lot. Okay? Number two, just come with, come stopped with your sanitary powder, sanitary towel. You don't want to be caught begging. You don't want to be, like, caught unawares. Number three, you're going to be stressed a lot. So even if you're not expecting it, it might come earlier. So just come with pad anyways, like just to be on the safe side. Come with pad, come with your painkillers if you need, or the drugs, or your hot water bottle, just to be on the safe side. Because they don't have facilities to cater for you, so you have to do it for yourself. Another thing you should do before camp is to get detergent and hypo. Because you're going to be washing a lot of whites. You need hypo. Detergent alone might not do the best work. So get hypo and get detergent. You don't want to get it on camp because like I said, things are more expensive. You will need provisions. You can come with cereal, milk, and things that you can just take. Gary, granola, just something you can take in your spare time. Because not all the time you want to eat from the kitchen. And it's not all the time you want to eat from mommy. So you can just have something that would disturb your mouth a little bit. You get So Last on your first day, when you do registration, you get your kit. The kit has the khaki, the cap. It'll give you two pairs of white shorts and two shirts. The quality of these shorts and shirts is not very great, so do not bank on them, especially if you're playing sports, because trust me, your shorts will rip. Three shorts ripped that I owned. So come with needle and thread, just stock on black underwear, tight, bras, singlets, just stock on black underwear. You're wearing white on white, so all this pink and purple, all this red, it's going to show. It's showing. I'm not gonna lie to you. No matter how thick you think your shirt is, once you sweat, it will show. So just come with black underwear to be on the safe side. And if your shirt rip, if your shorts rip, you're wearing black tights, it's not as bad compared to you not wearing any underwear at all or wearing like a G string or something. So just come with black tight, black bras, and black underwear. Also, if you do not want to be waking up very early to wash, or even earlier rather to wash, because they wake you up every day at 4 30 a.m. Yes, every day. Yes, 4 30 a.m. Except for Sundays. 
So if you don't want to wake up by two so you can wash your whites, just come stocked. Come with like seven, seven white shirts, seven white shorts, so that you know that on Sunday you are washing clothes and you have enough for the next week. Just come with enough because I really wish I did. I was thinking, oh, the shorts are going to give us in camp will be good. They were not good. They ripped in the first wear, and then I was just down to three, and I had to wash every day. Every time I go to have my bath, I had to wash. Or in the night before I go to bed, I had to wash. And it was a lot of stress because I barely had enough time for sleep anyways. And now I'm using time out of my sleep to wash white clothes. White clothes. If you're oh, yeah. going into sports, they make us wear a white on white play volleyball. I'm trying to catch balls in his ball. So it's always going to stain your body. So I would say have like two specific shirts and shorts that you use for sports. So you know that the days that you're going to train, you're going to not look the best because those things don't always come out right and then the remaining three you can dedicate it to oh when you're going to the parade ground or when you have lectures so you don't look too shabby all my outfits i wore them all the days of my sports and they never got white again and i regret it so don't make the same mistakes i did another point is don't wear your crested vest when you don't have to because they steal it they steal you only get one and so it's like a rare commodity and so people are out here trying to steal the crested shirt. Two of my friends got their crested vest stolen. This is the crested vest by the way. So just wear it on the days that you have to and drop it at the laundry. So even if it gets stolen there, it's their problem and they have to get you another one. <laughs> another point is the food is not that bad. Everybody made it seem like the food that they serve in the kitchen is the worst of the worst. Like it had maggots and cockroaches in it. But it's really not bad. It they they said they're gonna share don't eat the bono. but every other thing like the beans the rice the um bread everything was okay to be honest i did not have a problem with it at all it didn't turn my tummy some people did have complaints to be fair so i guess it depends on the body but i do not have any complaints about the food except the bono. <laughs> you would spend a lot of time under the sun you're going to be on the parade ground marching from nine to two before you swear in after that you're going to be in lecture it's going to be under the tent but trust me the sun is still hitting you wherever it is rays are still flying around right so invest in good sunscreen don't invest in the sunscreen that will burn you even more invest in good sunscreen if you have sunscreen that already works for you take it along if you don't do some research and get some sunscreen because look at me bro watch my last video and then watch this video and then you understand what i'm talking about and the difference in the shade is a lot okay so invest in sunscreen bring money bring plenty money the food in the kitchen is great fine but while you're standing on the parade ground from nine to two you are going to lose all of that food and you're going to lose a lot of weight so bring money so you can buy fruit and stay you know and get the essential vitamins you need so you can buy snacks and eat so you won't look like a broom i'll show you a difference between the day before my camp and the day i left camp so you just see what i mean you're going to i was walking towards a mirror and i couldn't recognize myself that's how bad it is and you're going to be stressed you're going to be stressed don't worry about it it's allowed you have no time for yourself every time is every time is like segmented to something else or dedicated to something else the only time you have you will be asleep because you would need it so don't worry about it you're going to be stressed for three weeks and in saying that i would say have no expectations don't try and predict what it's going to be don't think it's going to be the worst don't think it's going to be the best don't think anything just go with a plain blank mind so whatever comes at you you go with the flow it's much easier to go with the flow than to do something that you're already feeling disappointed with another so point is be respectful be respectful to yourself be respectful to the officials be respectful be respectful to other coppers here's what i mean why would you use the toilet and not flush why would you do that when you know that other people will use that same toilet right why would you why would you poo in the gutter why would you pee in the sink why like it's not even helpful for you like why also a lot of the officials are not exactly kind they're not exactly nice and yes they speak anyhow 
but you reciprocating that energy does not help anybody so if you have to say sorry to something that you're not even wrong for 10 seconds and it's over rather than making it a big deal fighting back pushing and then it becomes a big thing you have to face camp cuts you have to go home or different like it's really not worth it just zip up shut up move on because trust me saying sorry then will be much easier than having to go through all this wahala because everybody's going to see that he's older than you or she's older than you or you were being disrespectful to a soldier or you were this or you were that especially if it gets physical like it's just not worth it so just be respectful even if they don't deserve the respect yes respect is reciprocal or it's supposed to be but in this case it's three weeks my guy close your eye close your mouth move on trust me it's not worth it another point i would make is that you should get involved don't box yourself into a corner don't be antisocial don't hide get involved whether you, you can sing join the social night represent your platform you can dance join dance and drama you can do sports join sports you can run run because it's a lot of stress but it can be fun stress you know you can be having fun while you're getting stressed and then you can just be stressed so it's not better to do something that you enjoy while being stressed than to do nothing at all and just be stressed and all you can think about is stress and all the things that are happening is just stress another point is if you know that you are not fit enough for camp do not go for camp do not go for calm. Yes, you have FOMO, fear of missing out for, for three weeks, for 21 days, and then it will be over. Trust me, getting hurt during camp and then having to take leave is much worse. For example, you have asthma and it flares up a lot while you're on the fire ground. There'll be a lot of dust, there'll be a lot of problems. Don't do that to yourself. Or if you have dizzy spells, why are you running? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, you want to represent your platform fine but don't do it at the risk of yourself because it's really not worth it some people so many people got injured and they had to be taken to the hospital and it just felt really really sad even your platform members don't feel bad that oh my god i didn't know he, he had this or she had that and yes she was doing this for us and she was doing all that so it's really really not worth it somebody else will take up the mantle just put yourself first also for my people who don't want to parade you can always join red cross obs or any sports group and that way most of the times when you're training you'll be having parade rehearsals and you can't divide yourself into two and your platform wants you to win in that sport or the obs team needs you to edit this post that record this so you'll be free to go so to my batch c stream 2 and below i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and share also if you're new here subscribe press the subscribe button right now and i'll see you next week wednesday bye